documents. They're trying to sort over these 46 documents. They include everything from uh, uh, visitor logs, chat logs, drafts of speeches, and notes from Mark Meadows, three handwritten notes that he had taken. So that's all something for the court to consider. And of course, the former president has done in the past, if he happens to lose this next round, uh, it's very likely he'll try to take this to the Supreme Court. Uh, Karen Spinell, thank you so much for being on top of all of it. With us now is CNN senior legal analyst and former assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, Ellie Honig, and former Republican congressman from Illinois, Joe Walsh. Guys, thank you both for being here. So much has happened in the last 24 hours. Tons to discuss. Let's start with the audio, Congressman Walsh. When, you know, you third, thought you have heard it all, now on tape you have Trump defending the rioters' chance to hang Mike Pence. Your reaction? Uh, I'm not at all surprised, and, and nobody should be surprised. It's, it's just another vivid reminder that the former president of the United States is incapable. I mean that, Anna. Humanly incapable of caring about anyone or anything but himself. Is Mike Pence's life in danger? Trump doesn't give a damn. Uh, the election was stolen. Uh, Mike, Mike Pence, the vice president of the United States, be hung? Donald Trump doesn't give a damn. The election was rigged. All and then Pence continues to have allegiance to Trump. still does because Mike Pence wants to run for president in 2024. It, it, it's a scary stock reminder that this is still Donald Trump's party. So, Ali, this tape that we have all heard, it has been publicized. Is this new evidence for the January 6th investigation and could there be further legal implications? Absolutely, Anna. And what better reminder of the importance of the work that Congress is doing and really the DOJ needs to be doing as well. I mean, Talk about just the sheer badness, the sheer danger behind the president who's endorsing, apologizing, making excuses for people who are trying to find and harm his own vice president is unprecedented. Now, this reminds us, Congress, look, Congress has been aggressive. The committee is going out there uh, issuing wave upon wave of subpoena, and they've shown some willingness to fight in the courts to enforce those subpoenas. But it really puts the impetus over on the Justice Department. A, will DOJ back up? the committee by bringing contempt charges, and B, what is DOJ doing in terms of a criminal investigation? I know they've charged 600 plus people who went into the Capitol, but to look at people above that who may have inspired this and incited this. But even though 